tell you guys, it's been three months since I've been on uh, YouTube doing a video. Um, but I've just come back from the Lake District and I've just found out problems with the van. As in uh, storage, not storage space, working space in the kitchen. I need, I mean I've got the gas cooker, then I've got the sink and I've only got a small area to work in. So what I need is that extending, but to be able to fall down out the way, otherwise it'll block access to the toilet. I'll show you what I mean on the sink now. Right, this is what I mean. I've got the cooker, the sink, and very little preparation space. So when I've got both hobs on, I've got nowhere to work, prepare things. So this space here, I need a shelf across there. Now, I can't have it permanently across there, otherwise I can't have access to the toilet. So it's got me on a folding bracket. So I went on Amazon and found these. Quite good, these so they just don't do the work. There we go. So I intend to put them on there and hopefully that will fall down. And I can have another workspace there. So I've got plenty of this wood left over. I mean, I've got a piece there out of the uh, shed, but it's far too small. So I'll pop down the shed and see if I've got another piece and see if we can make a folding extension there. Right, let's go to the shed. So I found all these pieces of wood left over from the van build. Not bad, but I've found this one and this is the this will be the right width I'm just going to cut it down there and along there and that piece should be spot on I was using that piece originally but when I tried it it's just too small so I'm going to cut this out and see how that goes right guys here's a piece of wood I've cut it's perfect size it's going to go on like that. It's got a nice trim down the edge, which you'll see. I'll iron on some trim on there, and on the other side, I'll iron on some trim there. Just iron it on. It's the same. I'll show you anyhow. And we'll fit that. Here's the bracket. So that bracket will go that way around. So that's against the wall. And to drop the table, you just press a little lever, which is there. And then, fall. Press a little lever underneath, and it falls lift it up it locks into place so hopefully that's against the wall that's on top of it we've got a flexible table or a foldable table so I can put it down and have access to the toilet have it up when I want the space to cook so I'm going to fit these first in place then put this wood on top I think that's the best way to do it so I put these two two I've already put one on I'll put the other one on rest the table I'll get it where I want it then screw up uh, I think that's probably the best way to do it. And once all the screw holes are in, I'm happy. I'll take it indoors and iron on all the trim on it. All right, let's go and put these on first. Right, guys, as you can see, I've already put one on. And that's how it works. So I'm confident it'll be a good idea. Press the little lever. Now I'll put a link to Amazon where you can buy these. They're about £12. Uh, it's not an affiliate thing. I don't get paid for commission or anything like that. Brilliant. Right, I've already marked the holes out for the other one. So we'll get this one on as well. Let's see how it, how it works. So, right. Now, I've put them here wide apart because there is a wooden post 2x2 two two down there to screw to. So, it's super strong. That's to the fridge. I did that in a previous video, you've probably seen it. That's that one in. The next one in there. There's another hole up here, but I can't get it. I've got to use a manual screwdriver for that. Let's try and get this one in. And I don't want it level, it's almost impossible to get it spot on level, it's only be a millimetre down, a millimetre off, tried and tried. 
so I'm having it down a bit. And out a bit, so I reckon about there. So that'll be perfect for our scoop from the bottom. I'll put some trim in here, that'll look smart. Hand on there. Just have to get it right. That looks pretty good. I'll show you from this angle. There you go, from that angle. Lots more space, but no access to the loo unless you crawl underneath there. So I'll fasten that up and we'll see if it falls down okay. Right. Alright, guys, all done, all screwed up. Just a quick short video to get me back into the rhythm of things of making videos about the van build. Um, I've got a few snagging bits to do, like the engine on there. I'm not going to video, I was going to, but changing mind. So, there we go. As easy as that, nice and solid, and I get more, more worktop space. Put it down a bit more freaking like there, like. I'm just clip it on there for a second. So to get it down, you've got to get your hand under this side. Press the button, and, that, and there you go, it's down. So please use that. Put it down. All right. Right, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully it's a little bit better than this one. Bye for now.